this patient was referred to me two years ago, a little over two years ago, for endodontic retreatment of tooth number nine. The root canal was done a few years prior by his dentist. Recently, he told me two years ago that he started to have some symptoms, some pain, some discomfort. He felt the tooth was a little loose and went and saw his dentist and his dentist told him that he had a massive infection and referred him to me. So take a look here. Uh, crown, previous root canal, look at this. Huge periapical relucency. Okay, so that was a little over two years ago when I saw the patient for a consultation. We talked about options, redoing the root canal with the possibility of perhaps maybe um, if the non-surgical retreatment didn't work, then we would have to do apico. Also, always talk to the patient about um, the alternative treatment uh, extraction. Patient said, let's go ahead and try to see if we could save the tooth. So we went ahead and redid the root canal for him in one appointment. So went through the crown, removed the gutter percha, irrigated the heck out of everything. So let me show you the post-op. Here's the date, as you can see, a little over two years ago, two years, two months ago when I saw him first. This was immediately after we redid the root canal for him. As I said, went through the crown, removed the gutter percha and irrigated the heck out of everything, instrumented the, can the canal walls to make sure that we get rid of all the biofilm and what have you, contaminated, infected dentin. And uh, as I said, I was preparing the tooth for a possible future apical, so placed an MTA plug followed by gutter percha and sealer. Did this in one appointment. Extruded MTA, does that matter? Does MTA extrusion cause endodontic failure? You can see the large periapical lucency. That's that's my question. Does MTA extrusion cause endodontic failure, or in this in this case endodontic retreatment failure? And here's the date, as you can see, a little over two years ago when we redid this this root canal for him in one appointment. Again, as I said, in one appointment. Take a look. This was just now, two years post op of tooth number nine. That huge periapical lucency is healed almost completely, completely. So, one appointment endo endodontic retreatment, MTA extrusion, no effect, no effect on the outcome of endodontic retreatment. As you can see, this endodontic retreatment has been successful. Here's the date: two years post-op of tooth number nine. Take a look.